Hey, I'm back. It's Felicia, aka your little bro auntie. And today, y'all, I know why you're here. Because if you know the series, we've done the KBS, we've done the Duck Rabbit, we've done the Fullers, we've done the Old Rasputin. So you know what's left? It's an oldie with a goodie. It is my ride or die. It is my go to. It is <laughs> the Guinness Extra Style. Love this. Guinness Extra Style. So we're going to go ahead and talk about Guinness. Now, um,. You may be saying, well, why? Why are we talking about this? Because we need to show some love and appreciation for Guinness Extra Stout. And we're going to do that here today. So let's go ahead and do a little rundown um, about what Guinness says about their extra special little baby on their website. So, um... Actually, their website just kind of gives like the testing, the tasting notes. So let's go ahead and talk about the tasting notes from um, the Guinness website. So the aroma, medium and balanced. See, see, medium and balanced. A roast character with subtle fermentation fruitiness. Mm. Okay, all right, cool, 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 cool. I only said that because I knew what it tastes like. So I'm like, okay, cool. So the flavor is a perfect rounded flavor of bitter and sweet. I, I, I can get with that too. The palate is smooth to light bite, leaving to a dry finish. I, 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 good, good, good. You know what? Okay, let me finish. So alcohol by volume for the uh, Guinness Extra Stout is going to be 5.8%. Appearance is distinctively black, full-bodied liquid with a rich, creamy head. Okay, so I want to try something a little different. So with this one, since we know, and then we, it's our beloved, our beloved Guinness Extra Style. So what we're going to do is we're going to drink it, and then we're going to visit those tasting notes again to see how it matches up to what we experience when we drink this. So without further ado, we are going to go ahead and crack into this Guinness Extra Style. So today I'm just going to use a regular, regular pint glass because you know what? When you're out in them streets, you're probably going to get your Guinness in a regular, regular pint glass pint glass so that's what we're doing today okay so let's go ahead crack it open okay all right we got her open let's pour it let's see what this head's gonna look like so um it's telling me that it should have a rich rich creamy head yeah we'll see all right here we go mm, she pretty dark she pretty dark um Hmm. Okay. All right. There she is. I see some head forming on her. I think my trash um, porn skills are a thing of the past. I think that I am getting pretty proficient in my pour. Um, so let's re revisit the appearance uh, from Guinness. Appearance. Distinctively black. Full body liquid with a cr rich creamy head. Um. Okay. Rich, creamy head. Sure. There's a head there. Rich and creamy. Sure. Okay. Distinctively black. For sure. Yeah. This is super dark. Distinct distinctively black. I'll give them that. All right. So y'all know what's next. Ah, I'm so excited. I know. I'm just a big old nerd. But, 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 you cannot deny the deliciousness that is Guinness Extra Okay, so let's go ahead and get the aroma. Okay, you know what? I'm smelling, I'm smelling the subtle fermentation being that I'm smelling a little of the kind of sour, kind of sweet, kind of, you know, the smell that you get when like fruit is kind of just starting to go bad. It's kind of a sweet, but there's still kind of a little bite in there. I get that. I do. I get that from the, from the aroma. Y'all, let's, let's drink this. Let's drink this. Y'all, if I don't take it to the head, then kudos to me. But let me go ahead and take a sippity sip, sip, sip. Um, I'm excited. All right. Y'all, <laughs> I love Guinness Extra Style. So, what I'm getting 
it is buttery. Like there is a a warmth to it. And to me, I don't the only way I know to explain it is like it's buttery. I don't get there is there is some bitterness, but it doesn't suggest hops. It's a bitterness that complements. It actually complements kind of that butteriness that I'm getting from it. There is some malt in there that I'm getting the malt as well. So the balance on this is really, is really complimentary. What we don't need to do is let it warm. But just because we don't. Because it's, it's just great the way that it is. We don't need to let it warm. So we're not going to let it warm. We're just going to enjoy <laughs> the rest of this Guinness. And just be happy and content that we got Guinness. So, um, yeah, the Guinness is the last one in the series that, um, uh, of this particular series. But that's not all that we're going to review because there's so many more delicious varieties out there that I am too eager to uh, get my hands on and to share with you guys to see if, you know, let you know what I think and do you think. So, um, per use, uh, you know, don't drink and drive. It's not a good idea to drink and drive. It is never a good idea to drink and drive. Have you tried Guinness Extra Stout? I feel like you probably have. If you're here, you probably have. And if not, go out and get yourself some Guinness Extra Stout and then come back and tell me what you think? Uh, I'm excited to hear. Just let me know. And um, there's more beers coming. Stick around. And thank you so much for joining me today. Take care.